Hello everybody and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. In this video I will be showing you how to make villager tinder, which is what I recently built in my survival world and it's really neat. And how it works is basically you have two buttons and when you don't have a villager here you can press either one to get a villager. So in a second we should see a villager arrive. You can check his trade, so like it's a butcher, he's garbage, we're gonna say no. And he's gonna go over there and he's gonna die on those magma blocks and then we get another one and we say, oh, cartographer, oh, we want him. Over here there's a rail that you can link up to whatever storage for villagers you want or whatever trading hall you want. But let's just say we press yes. He's gonna go here, he's gonna fall into the void, but he would go this way. So how this works basically, this water stream would be connected to a villager breeder of some kind and villagers would spawn in. I will just demonstrate this with a spawn egg. Uh, and once uh, enough, I believe around 21 build in here, the uh, the one cell is gonna close and open up access to the next one. So let's just put in a couple more villagers and we should see it close pretty soon. Let's get a couple. There we go closes and opens up the next one and they can all fill it in there and you can build as many as of these as this as you want because there's the system is completely tileable it goes just in one direction and that's it so basically once you push a button any of those it's going to move this redstone block so this one's going to move it down here which to get the villager into onto this rail is just going to push this piston over here with a rail behind it by activating this redstone dust, turning off this torch, turning on that one, powering the redstone dust, and pushing the villager over here. Which, if I actually remove like some of these blocks here, you will see the entire thing work. So we push the yes button, the rail gets pushed over, and he drops down. The next one arrives, and let's say we don't want him. He is gonna drop down below on this rail. So when we push the button, he drops down, goes over this rail. This activator rail bum bumps him out on the magma block because every other spot is blocked by glass and he will just eventually die. And it's even spam worthy so like as if the villager hasn't died yet it's gonna put another villager there. Like if I press this button right away that guy's still dying he's then another one gets put right inside. And once this cell empties like so, we only have one villager here now. I'm gonna call the last guy, not spawn another villager. Let's call this guy. The cell empties, and what happens in the back here is this comparator no longer detects a signal, which turns on that torch, which in turn turns this rail to face the other way. As you can see, all of the rails are facing uh, facing that way, except for this one is facing into the cell because there's villagers. And if I, for example, put a villager in this cell, which I actually misclicked, let's push him in real fast, like so, the rail turns and so forth for this one and this one. So now if I call villagers, they, they should get picked up from the first cell. And once that one is empty, the next one, and the next one, and the next one, and so forth. So your villager breeder is going to firstly fill the first cell anyway, and then the next one, and so forth. Because every time it empties, it's going to reset this entire system and throw the villagers back into the first one. And how that happens is basically uh, is 21 villagers is just under the entity cramming, which is 24, which emits a si signal strength of 3 from a weighted pressure plate, is around 20 entities. And that triggers this repeater, which powers this torch, uh, this redstone dust, sorry. Triggers the observer. It powers this piston, so it closes off the cell. Triggers the observer, which triggers this dispenser, which dispenses a water bucket in between these signs. And also, it powers, unpowers this torch and removes these two pistons and opens up the water so it flows to the next cell. How the minecart picks up the villagers, though, is a, there is a, is a system that... Uh, Unari bit showed in his video and it's a powered rail going under the block that the villagers are standing on and it hooks onto this rail. So once it goes through, the villager gets picked up and I can see that real fast like that. You're gonna see the minecart go there, boop, and the villager gets picked up. And over here we have a guy that is moving the traffic. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, uh, with that being said, let me show you the material list.
Okay, next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna grab some redstone torches and put one torch underneath each one of the rails like this, so you power both of them. Then you're gonna grab your blocks and extend them all the way in front of the first two rails over here, like that. Then you're gonna grab a regular rail and put it on the end. And then wait before you place the ra last rail, just hook every rail so it faces that way. And the last one can also face this way and then grab some power rails and go like so. Grab some levers and we can just power the, those rails on all the sides. Then we're gonna take this and do a little bit of a turn like so and then just leave this for now. We're gonna get to it in a little bit. Then behind here we're gonna grab our blocks again. We're gonna go like so and like so and also go around the back like this. Then you're gonna grab your rails and do basically the exact same thing. Just place rails like so. And we're gonna twist twist them the right way in just a little bit. Over here, you can just grab your power rails and move them all the way to the edge here. And also over here, grab a couple blocks, put some power rails. Then we're gonna grab a dispenser here and place it like so. Uh, we're gonna grab a hopper, put it on this side and on this side. We're gonna grab a piece of sand and a cactus. And we're gonna put a block underneath here, put the sand on, put the cactus on, and we could just put a block on top or a quartz slab or something like, something just to prevent the cactus from growing. Doesn't matter what it is, like so. Then we're gonna grab our blocks here and we're gonna go up one over one, grab the blocks towards the end, grab a regular rail here and face it into the cactus. And then over here is where the blocks are gonna come and the villagers are gonna die, which we're gonna do in just a little bit. You can just place some regular rails to mark it out. Next thing we need, we need to just power these rails, which I forgot to do in the last clip like so and then we can just power these guys by powering them like so and also this one over here then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and grab a comparator output out of this pressure plate which will go into a block which will then go to a block on the side one up another one up and one to the side then you're gonna take three redstone dust place it on there face a repeater and face it into this block with a redstone dust on top, another block to the side with a redstone torch and a block on top. Then you're gonna grab your observer, put it on top of the redstone dust, put a block on top, a repeater on one tick facing into a dispenser like this. Then you're gonna grab sticky pistons and place one here, one there and one next to that redstone dust. Then you're gonna grab your glass and we're gonna just make a little circle like so, and extend it up all the way, like this. Place it around the dispenser and above, and then just finish it off like so, and leave the gap open here because this is where the villagers are gonna come in. You're gonna grab a sign, like so, and place a sign beneath the dispenser and in front of it on the left. Then what you need to do is repeat that on all of the layers. If you have done everything so far correctly, if you power this dispenser and put firstly a minecart inside, I'm just gonna fill it in just to have, the minecart should go and loop around if you don't have any villagers in and it's gonna get broken on the cactus and put in the dispenser again. So we're gonna go on here and we're gonna place a sticky piston right over here with a block underneath, a block over here, and then we're gonna grab a power rail and place it right there. Then we're gonna place a couple blocks here with power rail, and we're gonna grab a lever lever to power these. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some blocks over here, place them like so, and what we need is some concrete just to denote which the is the no and yes button. So we're gonna need a red concrete right here. And a, I put a lime concrete right there. 
We can put some blocks underneath, blocks above like so, and some blocks in front so that you can stand on, and then grab a slab of any kind and place that over here just so you get the experience when you're trading with villagers. Then we need two buttons and one on each. Uh, then we're gonna grab sticky piston, put it over there, and a sticky piston and put it over there. Uh, from this sticky piston, we need a redstone block over here and a sticky piston over there. So when you push this button, the block is gonna retract and get put back again. Then from this guy, we're gonna need also redstone block here and then we're gonna grab a redstone dust output from here that is gonna go into a block with a torch with another block on top, a torch on top and a block to the side, which is gonna power this piston with, with the rail and push it forward. Then we're gonna go over here and grab a redstone signal from here. We're gonna connect it up to this redstone signal like so, and just grab it like this, and then bring this redstone signal all the way over towards this dispenser, like so. We're just gonna grab this redstone line and bring it all the way over. And over here we have to be careful because that is gonna power this, uh, this block if we place redstone dust, so we can just do that and put a dust there. Actually, no, we can put a just a block, like so. We don't need another repeater. Uh, and then uh, we need to count up. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we can do a repeater into this block and then just rest on us on top. Then we need to bring the villagers from here to over here. So we need to block this off. We need a block here that is gonna stop the villager. Then we need to bring this over and we can even do like so and extend this rail over. Bring it one block down just so it connects like so. And you can, you can use powered rails or regular rails. I think the villager should have enough speed to go across the corner. Uh, we can just grab a lever and power this rail just so they have enough speed and then grab a lever and power these rails. And with that, I think it's done. We can test simply, and if I need to add anything, I will I will add it once I figure it out, but I think it should be done. Well, no, it's not done. Um, we need to, the killing mechanism. So over here, we need to come underneath uh, and catch the villager right there, grab a powered rail and bring it like so. And then we can turn a corner and go upwards, like so. Grab some powered, turn the corner, powered, and grab a lever, and power these rails. Then grab another lever, and we can power these rails, and go over here. And we need an activator rail that is gonna be powered by a lever underneath. And then we need some glass and a magma block. Place the magma block next to the activator rail. We, you can place like regular blocks under around. And then we need to block off every possible location that the villager might be put onto, which is also that rail, that rail, that rail. Also these spots over here and you can just make it three tall and close all of it off. And with that, your villager tender should be done. Uh, everything should work properly had you followed the tutorial. And with that being said, I wanna thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, hit that like button. Remember to comment to let me know what tutorial you wanna see next and subscribe to see new videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. When it went down, it was so hard to breathe I gave up everything in a slow fall